Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Okay, so this video is going to cover the Imbu reward you get from the Roderick Mollus quest, which is towards the end of Act 1. So you'll kill the, uh, the smith here, and you'll get the Herodric Mollus. Then you take it back to Charcy and she'll give you the reward to imbue an item, which will turn any regular Impossible. item into a rare item. And typically, the way this works is it will give you a item that is plus four of your character level. Um, the, that, that's the inherent item level it will have. So I'm going to show you a hack here. It's, well, it's not exactly a hack, but it, in a way it kind of is. So typically, any item you imbue, it will be based off your character level, and you'll get plus four to your character level for the mods it can roll. However, if you have this item, the diadem, you could imbue it on a level eight character, basically, which is around what you'll be if you do the Horodric Mollus quest in normal. You can imbue a diadem with a level eight character and get a level 99 item level reward from this. So you could, if you find these diadems, save them and use a mule or just an alt if you if you need some helmets or you want to get some good helmets easily you can then imbue them with that level 8 character and it could get plus 2 skills roll any other mod in the game and so that's that's the little hack I've got for you so let's take a look here at what I get from imbuing this item here Okay, so we got a plus two all druid skills, 13 strength, 19 life, 58 mana, and 10 all resists. That's a really solid helmet, and you could roll this, like I said, with a level 8 character. So diadems are by far the best item to imbue, unless you're fishing for a specific item. Uh, which most of the time when you imbue something else, it just ends up being garbage. But when you imbue diadems, you're almost always going to get something that is on par with this here. And so it will have worth, especially on a reset or a ladder reset, it's going to have a lot of value for your character or if you want to make another class, if it gets plus skills to a different class, it's going to have a lot of value for other characters. Or if you just want to trade it, it's going to have a very high value there as well. So this is how you can get the most bang for your buck out of your Imbu quest rewards. And it also, like I said, gives you the ability to almost have an infinite source of rare, very good helmets for any class or character. Um, all it takes is getting a diadem and going to towards the end of act one in normal with with a fresh character once you've burned all your other imbues so it, let's say you have several alts and you you've used all their imbues and you've got some diadems laying around it, it kind of gives you a guaranteed way to progress somewhat because you could trade these for you know other decent items that you need or perhaps some runes, etc. So that's my little hack for you guys here. Hope this helps you out, and thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for watching, and remember to give them the deed.